Okay, with Town Terror being at a 60 minute wait, I'm thinking I'm actually going to head to the front of the park and check out the shops there. And then we'll play by ear, like I'll look up the times. Just after that, because we're still seeing what kind of merch they have here and if they have any face masks. I'm not sure it's wind, so let's just keep moving. Okay, so, um, what's it called? Guardians Galaxy is still sitting at 60 minute wait, so I think we're gonna leave that, because we've already done that today, and head over into Web Slingers and see what we have luck-wise with the single wire line. Okay, still on my way to Web Slingers, but I thought it looks quite quiet, so when I come in here and see what does like the Doctor Strange area look like, and it's kind of cool. Little symbols all over the ground, doorways, symbols broken, 
definitely looking forward to trying to come back and see in the show later on this afternoon. Okay, so I've gone to the single wire line and I'll help you guys out. So, this one, the furthest, if you're facing it to the left, is your standby. Just next to that is single rider. And then like, this metal thing is extend, but just off the side would be where you hyped in for lightning lane. I'm gonna keep slowly moving forward. And let's see how this ride goes this time. Same showroom, but we're behind like a fence now. Okay, so we've got a different door now. Photo, we're gonna grab our glasses here. Ooh. And then staircase. So got my glasses. Now we're heading down the staircase. Where to where to? And then this corridor. Same sort of warning stuff against the four. Another corridor. So and then safe and remain seated. Uh, little help here! Yes! Quite glad to see you guys. enjoyed that second ride through as much as I did. My score is really hard to have a good on that. And I'm not totally sure if it's that because I'm only using one hand because I'm filming. Or do I just need more practice? Not sure yet, but just saying I'm noticing. Um, no idea the world where I'm heading yet now. Thinking I may try to find out how long the wait time is for Guardians again. And if that's still quite high, we may head towards the pier. I may go in Credit Coaster or somewhere over there again, I think. Well, I'm going to quickly look through this gift shop here, which is the Web Slingers gift shop. And just see what they have. Okay, so we've got Mean Greek and all, Ant Man, Captain America, and Thor. Yeah. And my dad about, but he hasn't actually got like the mini bugs like that he was carrying around before. Okay. So we've got Cap. And obviously Thor, one of the best ones to stay around them to talk to the kids. Okay, so we're still making our way towards Guardians of the Galaxy, but the Warriors of Wakanda are about to come out, so we're just going to watch them go past just because it's causing a bit of a bottleneck of um, people, and then we'll go towards Guardians of the Galaxy. We're currently in the shadow of.
card. We've also got Loki out here doing a meet and greet. Okay, so we're still looking at a 60 minute wait. So, we'll just come back later on, I think. It's the best option at the moment. So I've headed into this Brother Bear, like, walking path thing. But it looks like currently it's themed to Ray and the Last Dragon. So, let's wander through here and see what it's like now. Because, honestly, we've done this under Brother Bear themed. We've done it twice under Villi um, Villain themed. So what's it going to be under Ray and the Last Dragon themed? So far, I'm not really noticing anything different, but the other side is more like lanterns and stuff. So we may make it around there and eventually and see what it looks like. Okay, all I've done is come up this path so far and we've got like this whole climbing area that we've seen before. Bridges and stuff, which I'm probably not going to check out today. But I keep going on this path, I just thought I'd show you guys. Like I said, I haven't come across anything that's like Ray on the Last Dragon themed yet. I could honestly be mistaken, but I swear I saw a sign at the front saying that it was Ray and the Last Dragon themed in here. But let's keep going. Hopefully we'll come across something. Okay, so we have this cool turtle statue, but I don't remember it being Ryan and the Last Dragon. But okay, I can see some lanterns over here. So let's go down if we can and get into that. Area. We've also got like a, I'm assuming maybe Phoenix, but could we, when it says Hawk, kind of just looks like it's been born out of fire. But it's kind of cool wood sculpture. Okay, found out guys. I thought it was an overlay, it's not. It's apparently just a meet and greet. It's all cool. They're not here at the moment. We may come back later on. But for the moment, let's turn. We'll start making our way out. Ooh, okay. I was going to the stairs, but it says exit this way. Let's try this way. Okay, can I show you? This is all I kind of saw from the top as I... They sign said exit the other way. If you just go the stairs. Yeah, so that's all I kind of saw from the outside. So that's why I thought it could have been like an overlay or something like that. I see some people with tables down here, so I'm just gonna go down and see why they've got tables. So the picnic tables were set up as a Mother's Day thing to kind of do uh, cuts for Mother's Day. Heading to Goofy's Flying School. I'm now up at Goofy's Flying School in a single rider, so I thought it was worth checking that out. Okay, so I'm coming back into Avengers Campus now and something I noticed early on but I didn't point out just because there was people around was like there's this mule, spray painted mule, that's cool but up here, it's not showing up with zoom we got it tagged with Miles is this meant to be some sort of easter egg for Miles Morales becoming a thing either in the MCU or in Avengers Campus? don't know I have to play by ear, but for the moment we're heading in and trying to get ourselves set up for the Doctor Strange show.
pay close attention. This is the astral ring. It has more power than you can imagine, and Dormammu will do anything to get it. We need to hide it someplace Dormammu can't find it, and for that, I'll need a powerful relic from the cabinet of Caraballos. This cabinet serves as a vault for the most powerful relics of all time. The Wand of Batum and the Axe of Angarumus have at one time or another been hidden within. Okay, if anyone knew what those were, you'd be really impressed. <laughs> now, we must alter the ring's molecular structure and transform it so Dormammu can't recognize it. Give me Balam's box of transformation. This will allow me to manipulate the fabric of the ring's reality. By the power of Balam, Hook, Anulum, transform him. <laughs> yeah, I'm not impressed either. <laughs> it's not enough. It won't be long before Dormammu realizes what we've done, and that might lead him here to this ancient sanctum. I must harness spectral energy to create a spectral shield to protect this campus, ourselves, and the astral ring. Now, to create a spectral shield, of course we need a spectral <laughs> staff, but where the staff is, I cannot say. To locate the staff, I'll need your help. Our task is to locate the spectral staff in whatever dimension it resides. We can navigate there together, using our focus on the dimensional map. Listen closely and follow along in your minds. I'll lead you through a series of choices. Choices you will make on your own, but do not speak your choices aloud. We dare not risk influencing the fragile threads of the multiverse. Notice the possibilities, the various places where the staff might be. Xandar. The London Sanctum. Even Westview. The map is governed by the power of numbers as described in the Book of the Vashanti, which reveals that key numbers will unlock secrets to the multiverse. To locate the spectral staff, think of your own mystic number between 5 and 15. Any number between 5 and 15. You, a number between 5 and 15. 12. If your mystic number were 12, starting from our home base, the California Sanctum, you would count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, bringing you to Xandar, you, a number between 5 and 15. 7. If your mystic number were 7, once again, starting from our home base, the California Sanctum, you would count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, bringing you to Wakanda. There are many possibilities. Again, this is your choice. I will not influence you. All of you. Focus. Concentrate. Think of your own mystic number between 5 and 15. I'll count aloud, and when you reach your number, I want you to stop and stay there. Now, many of you will be in different locations, and that's all right. Do we all understand? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on. Good. Now, from where you've landed, I want you to move the opposite direction, the same number you just moved. The same mystic number, only moving backward or clockwise as I count. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Keep going, and when you've finished, I want you to keep your eye where you've landed. Good. Now concentrate. I can see you're not in Westview, so we'll take that away. But your energies are not in Sakar either. Ah, you're not in the New York Sanctum or in Hala. All of you. Pay close attention. Time is of the essence. Final move. You can move clockwise or counterclockwise. The choice is yours. From where you are, without counting any of the empty spaces, I want you to move four times. Ready? One, two, three, four. Now stop and focus. Good. You see you're not in the London Sanctum? 
or nowhere. Your energies are not in Zendar either. All of you, concentrate. Keep your eye on your location. Ah, yes. And now I can sense where most of you've landed. You've located the Spectral Staff on Asgard. The Spectral Staff is on Asgard. Well done. Give yourselves a hand. By the power of the Vishanti, I summon the Spectral Staff from the vaults of Asgard. Wait a minute, that's not the special staff. Why would you bring me the urn of Undor? Jalisa, come on, get with it here. You're one of my best apprentices. Why would you bring that to me? It's the urn of Undor, I mean. Wait a minute. Of course, the urn of Undor. Really? Nothing? to be appreciated. <laughs> Calm down. Come here. Ah. Oh. That's not. Ostra stone. That's it. I'll turn Ostra stone to the urn of Undor. By the shield of Seraphim! The spectral staff! Come on, Lucy quickly. To create the spectral shield, we must all harness our energies. Like this, everyone join me. And now repeat this spell after me. By the power of the Vashanti! By the power of the we create the spectral shield. We create the spectral shield. Good, now say that spell together with me. By the power of the Vashanti, we create the spectral shield. We're ready. By the power of the Vashanti, we create the spectral shield. Keep going. By the power of the Vashanti, we create the spectral shield. By the power of the Vashanti, we create the spectral shield. To protect this canvas, ourselves, Seems there's great mystic potential amongst you all. Thank you. Carry on in your journey. Believe me. You've all helped the Avengers far more than they will ever know. You get used to it. <laughs> there's much work to be done in so little time. May the all-seeing eye of Agamotto guide you safely. Farewell, my friends. For now. <laughs> 